Okay, here's the two-headed shower system that I installed in my other bathroom that I thought I'd install in my kids' bathroom because I like it so much. We've used it for about a month. Uh, I bought it off Amazon and I'll put a link in the description so you can check it out. Um, it's a two-headed system with a handheld wand and it's mostly made out of plastic except for the um, hose, flexible hose right here is made out of metal and a few other metal bits. Um, it keeps the price down, which is nice, and so far it's worked out nicely. You can switch between both heads or, or sing, single head use between the two, and it's got a five-way adjustment between low, medium, high, and also some pulsing uh, settings as well. So let's get to installing it. Okay, it comes with everything you need. The two heads, flexible hose, some plumber's tape, the washers, We'll be putting that all together. It comes with instructions. Also says limited lifetime warranty. Okay, Landon, my son, is gonna be helping me. First thing you do is just fit a pipe wrench onto the existing shower head. This is a wrench that my dad gave me, antique wrench, but it still works. And then turn counterclockwise. That's pretty simple. You don't have to turn off the water at the main because it's turned off right here. So if there's some plumber's tape already on the threads, you'll want to pull that off like Lannon's doing right now. So just wipe off any dirt, any water, get it clean. So you just start at the top and wrap it around and you just got to wrap it around about one time all the way, keep going until you come down to the bottom and then maybe one more around the threads up at the top and then you just pull it off by holding the spool and just yank it off. There you go. Then take your fingers and kind of make sure it's secure and that looks good. Okay, next you put on this outer ring right here. That goes on the back side. So it comes with one washer in there, show that to me really quick. And then you put another washer that comes with the kit right in there. And then you screw it on. It only goes on one way up. Screw that on clockwise all the way. Tighten it down with that top ring. Is that good? That's it. Looks good to me. So then you turn it so that the nozzles or the connections are facing down straight here and here, and then this is the side that holds the, uh, the wand. So you put the shower head on and just hand tighten this. You don't wanna um, over tighten because this is plastic right here and you could crack it. So just hand snug till it stopped. So the hose comes with two washers. One goes in each end. You just take that little rubber band piece off and then you put it on each end. Okay, so you just connect the hose to the bottom back connection, hand tight again. And that's nice and snug. And then you put the washer in this connection and then screw that connection to the wand. Hand tight and snug again. And then you hang it right up there. And then you test it. And then there's a lever that switches between the two nozzles, or the two heads. You can have both on, or one or the other on. And also the nozzles adjust to pulsating, rain, and a few other adjustments. So you can make, adjust the angle of this top wand to spray you like that, or you can just take it out and use it like that. Works pretty nicely. Just put it right back up there, and there you go. You got a two-headed system. How was it, Landon? Good. Easy install? Yep. Thanks for your help. Yep. Okay, clean this mess up, would you?